Welcome everybody for this video I'll be explaining and discussing the reactions of ethers with strong acids and um, the acids we'll be focusing on are acids like hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid and hydroiodic acid so uh, let's get started okay so so there are two types of ethers that we'll be focusing on and these will be categorized into separate categories okay the first type of ethers we'll be look, looking at are primary and secondary ethers which will fall under one category and the other category will include only tertiary um, ethers okay so let's get started if we have this uh, primary, uh, excuse me, we have this ether here. Okay, again, we and for this, for all the examples I'll be talking about, I'll be focusing on uh, hydrobromic acid. Okay, so HBr. So HBr. Okay. This carbon right here, again, in order to determine if an ether is primary or secondary, um, we have to look at the carbon directly attached to the oxygen okay so in this case this carbon is secondary right and over here it's so let's make it a little bit darker it's secondary and this carbon right here is primary okay so it's kinda you can't really say that this ether is uh, secondary or primary okay it's a combination of the two but these types of ethers fall under this category they fall under this primary slash secondary ether category okay so what happens is that this HBr react, reacts with this ether to give you in this specific example a secondary alcohol drawn as such and a primary alkyl oh, sorry about that and a primary alkyl halide okay so that's the product of the reaction so what just happened here the H okay so you form the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen right now what happens is that you in this case under primary and secondary conditions right referring to ethers the bromine will attach to the less substituted carbon okay so in this case it'll attach to this carbon over here since this primary so that's a very key important thing that the conjugate base of the strong acid okay so let's write that down the conjugate so the conjugate base of I'll simply write SA strong acid will attach to less substituted carbon okay under this condition over here okay so conjugate base and I'll put in parentheses right above the base um, we're referring to BR uh, minus okay we're referring to BR minus okay so the conjugate base of the strong acid will attach to the less substituted carbon so again the bromine here attached to this carbon because it's less substituted than this carbon over here so that's simply what happens so let's go over the reaction mechanism of this uh, reaction okay so reaction mechanism again this is the ether we're starting off with it has two lone pairs on them and you're reacting with H B R right you form a bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen drawn as such this arrow and then you kick off the pair of electrons onto the bromine okay and the bromine comes off 
the product of the step is basically the ether now having an H attached to it and it has a positive charge okay now what happens in this next step it follows an SN2 style of reaction mechanism so that's very important to know so SN put 2 here okay that's very important to know right here this thing right here what happens is that again we're looking at the conjugate base of the strong acid which is the bromine in this example we form bromine as a byproduct the bromine now comes into the picture now it binds to the less substituted carbon while kicking off this pair of electrons onto this oxygen um, like this okay so now what you form as a result of this is your secondary alcohol plus you form your alkyl halide now so there's your bromine and here's your alkyl halide your primary alkyl halide so there you have it so this is a very important thing to know okay that the conjugate base of the strong acid will attach to the less substituted carbon so again the conjugate base is the bromine with a negative charge and that will attach to uh, this primary carbon now that is referring to primary and secondary ethers again this is a uh, combination of a primary and secondary uh, ether and so but it will still fall into this category definitely it's not a tertiary ether so it will not follow the reaction mechanism I'll be showing you in the near future okay so that's the first thing again we'll, let me go a little quick recap over the reaction mechanism um, pair of electrons on the oxygen forms a bond with the H pair of electrons between these two uh, get kicked off onto the bromine now you form this intermediate with this oxygen now bearing a positive charge now this is where the SN2 style of reaction mechanism Okay, let me just uh, darken this a little bit. Okay. Now this is the SN2 aspect of it. A pair of electrons right here gets kicked off to the oxygen. Now while your your bromine attaches to this carbon over here, and uh, as a result of this, you form your primary alkyl halide and your secondary alcohol and um, again this is referring to primary and secondary ethers so there you have it that's your first style of reactions occurring with ethers uh, with strong acids and again this is the first category we'll be looking at so now let's move on to the second category which is only focusing on tertiary ethers Okay. So, um, again, we'll be focusing on uh, tertiary ethers. So, again, something like that, okay? So, actually, let's move this down a little bit and make it a little bit larger. Okay? So, again. Okay? There's our ether right there, and uh, it will react with again for the sake of consist uh, consistency HBr, and we're now trying to determine what would be the product of this. Again, this category that we'll be focusing on is tertiary ethers. Okay, so we have a primary carbon here and a tertiary carbon here. Okay so if we have a tertiary carbon versus a primary carbon right we consider the whole ether a tertiary ether okay now let's just change this and say that this was a secondary ether for example if this was a secondary ether versus a tertiary ether again the whole ether will be considered um, 
tertiary and it will follow this specific style of reaction mechanism I'll be showing you pretty soon so again in the previous example I showed you uh, the category was primary slash secondary in this category is tertiary and again if you have any type of tertiary carbon attached to oxygen right regardless of what the other carbon is the overall ether will be considered tertiary and will follow this specific style of reaction and reaction mechanism I'll be showing you so the product of this will be will be this tertiary alkyl halide and a primary okay plus primary alcohol okay so let's make that a little bit darker primary alcohol okay so what just happened here okay in the previous example that I was explaining to you guys um, I said that the bromine will attach basically the conjugate base of the strong acid will attach to the less substituted carbon so we would expect it to attach here to this carbon over here but no in this example in this specific category the conjugate base of the strong acid will attach to this to the more substituted carbon okay so basically the bromine will attach to the more substituted carbon let's write that down right here so the conjugate The conjugate base of strong acid again SA for strong acid will attach to the more substituted carbon okay and again the base we're focusing on is BR minus okay that's the base we're focusing on for these examples so let's just make this one a little bit more darker so I can't stress this enough that the bromine will attach to the more substituted carbon if you have a tertiary ether again if it was a primary or secondary ether and you're trying to react it with HBr again it will attach to the less substituted carbon but in this case since we consider this whole thing a tertiary ether it'll follow this uh, follow this rule right here okay so um, now let's go on to the reaction mechanism and um, uh, as far as the reaction mechanism it, it's a little bit longer than the first example I showed you in regards to the primary and secondary ether this tertiary ether reaction mechanism uh, will require more space so I'll just erase the whole thing so stay tuned I'm kinda of running out of time so stay tuned to, for the next part where I'll discuss and explain the reaction mechanism of uh, this tertiary ether with HBr